Hey, what's up? Welcome back to another episode of the 900, a Rogue Tech, or sorry, a Battletech. I got, <laughs> yeah, I've been playing Rogue Tech too much. A Battletech Flashpoint campaign, career mode. We are now um, still on this main starting planet. This is episode three. We're going to go to our contracts right away, and we are going to take the Noisy Neighbors contract today and get in on this right away. Um, let's negotiate. And I'm thinking we're going to go and take... Two of eight salvage and some cash. Well, we don't have to worry about drop costs, but I think, you know, the extra two bits of salvage aren't going to give us another, um, you know, 100,000 or whatever. So I think we're just going to go this way, two of eight. And we're going to accept the contract. And I think we're going to run this again um, and deploy and get this mission done. All right, here we go. Formex on the ground. So I got to remember today I can't sprint and shoot. Uh, yes, it's this map, is it? Uh, usually a lance up here, reinforcements from this side. Not sure if we're going to get reinforcements or not, but uh, let's move our way up. And let's get you up here. Uh -huh. Let's get you here. And let's get you here. Alright, Shiv, let's get up here. Uh, I don't want to go too far up. I don't want to leave people behind. So let's get up into here. Enemy contact. It is. Um, let's see here. There we go. So we got a light mech up here. So uh, while we're waiting for these guys to appear, um, I've been sort of recording a few episodes of my uh, um, Rogue Tech campaign today, and um, it's uh, Rogue Tech Cold Forge. If you haven't watched it, uh, feel free to go ahead and watch, see the difference between the gameplay in this, um, in Battletech and uh, Rogue Tech. Such a huge difference. Uh, Locust, let's fire on this guy. Firing everything I've got. So in this one, this case, I probably should have moved the spider first, uh, only because um, it's only got two medium lasers, and we were stripping evasion off. All oh, right, I can't sprint and fire. Um, that's what we're trying to do here: is just strip as much evasion as we can. So let's jump into here, firing at this guy. Just want to reduce his evasion so when their big guns come up, we can pace this guy. Okay, Rhea. The PPC. Can we jump into a place where we can kill this guy? Oh, we can hit him from here. Not bad. Let's try it. Far away. Gonna have to watch our heat too on this planet. Okay, who's this guy? Don't think we can get to a point. Well, we can get to a point where we can shoot him. Let's do that. Surprise! I'm gonna leave the PPC off. Just watch now for. Uh, for overheating here before we get into really tough mechs. So somebody doesn't want to hang around and I don't blame them. Not having a good time. We're going to reserve. Waiting for my opening. So before I came, uh, started recording this episode, I noticed on in the uh, store there was three pieces of uh, Vindicator. And if we went all cash on this mission, we could have bought a whole Vindicator. Which is one of the reasons why I'm not allowing myself to buy salvage or choose salvage. Because we're only getting three pieces. It's like, it's so easy to make mechs. Nice try. Okay, Jenner, and what's this guy? Another spider. Okay. 
All right, so we're, I'm kind of underwhelmed so far with this. Uh, with Flashpoint. Doesn't seem to be. I mean, I, I guess I've played Rogue Tech far too long. It's just far more difficult. Okay, we're going to fire PPC and everything on this guy. Like, the chances to hit, too, are just, like, crazy, right? Um, let's get into here. Gonna fire on this guy. Everything into the side. Should be able to kill this guy this turn. Now, I know they've got um, special missions and stuff further down the line. Um, but you know, we'll have to see how tough they are. I've been hearing, I've been hearing that they're pretty tough, but um, find out soon enough, I guess. All right, let's get Shiv down here. I'm just honestly, really, I'm just really interested to see what uh, the uh, Rogue Tech people do with this, with this um, new content. If I was playing Rogue Tech, there's no way I would have been able to kill this guy. Alright, see what he's up to. Playing the back game? Nope. Hmm. Playing that game, are you? Alright, let's get Shiv. Yes, Commander. Yeah, let's do this. What can I do for you? No, we're gonna go Here ship go. first, uh, and we're gonna pull back to here. There's a reason for that. We're gonna fire on the locust. Firing all weapons. I had to stop myself there for a second. I was about to call it a dagger. I keep doing that in rogue tech too. I call all the locust daggers. There was a time in my original Rogue Tech campaign where I was, all the uh, locusts that were appearing were all daggers. Yikes! I'm taking internal damage. I see that. My heat sinks can't vent fast enough. Nope, Order. they cannot. On all right. That is not a good chance to hit there, is it? Hmm. Let's take the shot. Nice. Solid connection, that one. Okay, we should be able to burrow through that guy's side now. Although I'm thinking that we got to get rid of the fire starter first. Damn. Oh, Commander, I'm hit. Damn. I, hit. I saw that. I hear you. Yeah, you know what? You know what my issue was is I said that oh this doesn't appear to be so hard. Shouldn't have said anything. Okay. And we're gonna pull back to here. Should be able to finish this guy up. Engaging target. Yep. Somebody's just taking a bit of a dirt nap. Alright, let's see what they do here. That guy's annoying. Daylight threw my armor. Yeah. Oh, it's getting pretty hot in here, Commander. Waiting for orders. Where's my spider? Do this. Got it. Really? <sighs> Minimal damage, Commander. Good to go. 
Commander. Hmm. Leaving the PPC off, just fire the SRM4. That's not good. Like that, probably. Time. Uh, my heat getting pretty high. I hear that. Let's come around back of this guy. Engaging physical attack. Okay, nice. Good solid damage on him. All right, let's see what they do here. Ah, oh, gonna play wall brawl bots, are you? We can certainly do that. Damage minimal. Just gonna make me punch you even more, buddy. Yes, Commander. Roll to that. Let's fire on this guy's backside. See what he does now. Warning. Enemy in rear arc. Yeah, they're playing the back game now. All right, we can do the same thing. Warning. Armor breached. Internal damage. I see that. Commander. Jumping. Yeah, it's just fire one. Got the angle. Taking the shot. Okay. I think I hit something good. I think he did too. Good to go. Let's walk it up here. Get our stability back. How much can we fire? Probably just one. Not anything really without overheating. Alright, let's just brace then. Um, and this way you can't get behind us Engaging. unless you jump and I'm going to shoot this guy straight in the back with everything but the PPC alright let's see what they do Okay. Let's go up here. We don't have to worry about being melee. I'm gonna fire on this guy's back. Oh, really? Robots. Good thing I'm not paying for armor. It'd just make me mad. I had to pay for it. All right, look alive, girl. See if we can shoot this guy in the back with everything this time. Sure can. Got it. Critical hit, Commander. I saw that. Awesome. On my way. How many can we use? Two. Good enough, I'll take it. Well, certainly did. It's this guy down too. Do I have to attack from the front? What was the uh, command? Was it shift? Control? There was a way to 
can't remember how do I get attacked from a different angle now. Actually. Let's do this. Fire all those. Let's see what he does here. Sure. Let's brawl about this guy. Maybe we just pummel him to death. I have to say, I really am not excited about uh, Flashpoint for some reason. Maybe it's because I've been playing Rogue Tech far too long. That's a good possibility. Now, 65%. Let's do it like this so he can't get behind us. So we think he can't get behind us. Okay, right arm's gone. Critical hit, Commander. And Shiv. Can't get rotated enough. I can't hear though. Oh, really? Okay. Well, we gotta do it. Fire them both. Roger that. Damn. Just walk over a little bit. Good to go. A little better chance to hit from this side, I think. Just fire with the PPC. Copy that. Nice. That's going to hurt. Let's see what that guy's up to now. Sure, why not? Robots. I don't even think we need to move now. And we're going to fire two again. Right, Commander. This guy's almost done. Ready for orders. Shiv, fire both. On it. There we go. Finally. Can go down. So I think I have to reanalyze my play style. I don't think I can play similar what I was doing in Rogue Tech. Um, I was maxing out my evasion by running up, and I can't really do that in this game. They just strip your evasion away, so I think I'm really going to have to utilize the jump jets bouncing in and out. It's kind of, I don't know, I, it's not really a playstyle I like, but uh, I think we're going to have to do that anyway, until we get to some really heavy mechs. Okay, so no amazing damage overall. We didn't lose any components or anything. So, we, what are we going to take here for salvage? Not a whole lot. A lot of crap here. Flamer, maybe? And... We're making a brawl bot. Do we want to go for... Um, let's just grab another medium laser. I mean, we could go for machine guns and make a brawl, brawl bot. But, um... Yeah, I don't think that's really... Yeah, let's go this route. Let's confirm. So a fire starter part, we've got two machine guns, some jump jets, not a big deal. Alright, so... Mechs are all repaired now. It's the other thing that that's kind of freaks me out every time I come back to the, to the ship. It's like only been a couple of days. Oh, we got to repair all here. 1800 sea bills in one day. Wow, it's like really nothing for these guys. Got to refit. What did I? Oh, I lost the arm. That's right. Yeah. Seventy-nine thousand. So it is a lot more than I thought it would be. Oh, we lost three jump jets. Good thing we picked up some jump jets when we were down there. 
There we go. Right. I'll get it this and we're right back to where we were. Wow. Shiv is out for 23 days, but we got another pilot, so we're okay. Um, so we'll have a look at the command center real quick here. So we've got a couple of um, House Liao missions we can do here before we leave. Hot landing. Then we can probably take one of these guys and go somewhere else and uh, get free travel time. Well, we could go there now. So that was just a one scale mission we finished. It was four light mechs with partially repaired armor. If we go here... I'm wondering if it's just going to be more more of a challenge, which I might enjoy a little more. Let's have a look at our mech warriors really quick. I think we should probably have some enough to get some skills up we don't yet. For oh, this guy does for sure. So let's go here first. Let's get some gunnery up. Uh, Rhea, let's get your gunnery up. Confirm that. And Shiv is out for now, so we'll have to leave that. But let's go to the command center. I think we are going to take that contract. So we're going to travel. We'll do that next episode. Next ne next, ne next episode we'll travel and do this particular one here. We've only been, we're only like f like four days into our career here too, right? Uh, in Rogue Tech we'd be like not anywhere near the being this far along. We've got seven days, 17 days for our spider to be repaired so there's no point just sitting here. So we're better off moving to the next planet. Now, is there anything else we can do here? Not really. So let's do that. Let's go take the contract. Let's go to the next planet. Then the next episode, we can just jump right in. And we're going to no negotiate. We're going to go for 211, 314. We want to go. I think we want to go this route, actually. Actually, I'm pretty sure we do. Compelling Confederation. We're going to get some points on them, so we're going to be raising them up. Losing points in the pirate organization, but we can deal with that. So let's accept this. Free travel. Definitely loving the new animations. Looks pretty cool. A couple more days here and our ship upgrade should be done. Ah, they at least... <laughs> they edited it so it's not cross-axis cut. Nice. Well, that's still a little weird. All right, let's have a look at uh, ship upgrades. What are we doing next here? Um, training module, maybe. Repair and refit. I think maybe we want to go this route. That's 450000 Do we want to spend that right now? Don't think so. Plus two tech points. That's 20 days for the refit harness. Repair scaffolding. 270000 for 20 days. So let's go this route. Let's get that scaffolding up and running. Excellent. Let's continue along here. So I'm interested to see. I mean, if the one, if the one skull mission. I, I wonder if it goes by the planets. I'm interested to see what that what that's like. So that's an interesting animation there too. A little weird. Okay. Filling with a stock auto cannon. Better keep working on it. See what we get here. Ah, I lose an AC5. No big deal. Not like we're using it right now, anyway. All right. Let's check out the store here. Not yet. In a minute. Can we check out the store? I think we can. Can't we? Is it loading? Is there no store here? There's no store here. Where are we? Let's have a look at the star map. Token population uninhabited. Yeah, no store. How can you have a token in pop token population and be uninhabited? Um, it's a little confusing to me, but whatever. All right, so we've got enough mechs, mechs and mechs pods. So next time when we come back, we're going to take on this mission. Um, and I'm sure Shiv will be back shortly after. Um, it is a uh, one and a half scale mission, so that should be interesting to see where that takes us. 
Um, but if you like the episode, please drop a like. And if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. And if you like Rogue Tech, hop over to my uh, my other uh, channel, or my other playlist, sorry, with uh, the Rogue Tech Cold Forge series. That's the most recent version of Rogue Tech as of Flashpoint. Um, so yeah, check it out. But until next time, I'll see you all later.